This is Brad Cox from AccuMobility. We're gonna teach you the Mobility at Your Desk series that we created. This is to help you mobilize for everybody who doesn't have time. Every week we're gonna teach you a different exercise. They'll total one minute, so that by the end of 10 weeks you'll have 10 different exercises taking only 10 minutes of your time. Today we're gonna to start with the forearms. We're gonna show you three different versions of this. Step one, we're gonna use a single AccuMobility ball to work both sides of the forearm. This is great for tendonitis, carpal tunnel, and all sorts of wrist or hand problems. You're gonna start up by the elbow, you're gonna push down on the AccuMobility ball, and you're gonna hold your other hand on top, and you're gonna go through flexion and extension of the wrist. Do about four to five repetitions, and then work your way down the forearm until you get to the wrist. So find about three to four spots, do four repetitions each spot. Then you can do the same thing on the other side. Pushing down, flexing, and extending, looking for those tender restricted spots. Step two, we're gonna use a unique function that you can only do with the Acu Mobility Balls, which is a vice function, which you put two of them next to each other, and now you can compress from either side, pushing down so that the balls are working both sides, creating a vice. Then you can go through active ranges of motion, getting side compression. Same idea as the first step, you wanna start up by the elbow, and you wanna work your way down, trying to find those restricted spots. Step three, you can apply any kind of oil to the top of the AccuMobility ball and also to the underside and top of the forearm. This is gonna allow us to do a gliding function and dredge the entire channel here. You start down on your wrist, you're gonna press down and you're gonna slowly push. This feels fantastic, it gets in there nice and deep. It's an incredible fascial release and really gets blood and lymph moving there. And then you can also add some active ranges of motion as you go through that. You can do that both sides bottom and top of the forearm. 